Elles auraient pu connaître, monsieur. Merci beaucoup. Hello, John. How would you do? We're good. Let's go in and have lunch. Thank you. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> Go ahead. Morning. Morning. Apple brandy in it. It's about 190 proof. Oh, really? It's from France? Oh, yeah. I brought a couple back with me. You know. All the customers loved it. Oh, really? Yeah, they, they, they sipped it. They make a face with it. Calvin, though, so the me Germans too. run our tanks on it. The Americans drank the stuff. <laughs> oh, really? Me too. Calvin, though, it's not. Scotch. Yes. Scotch, you like. You, you're Scotch. the daughter, yes. right? Yes, I am. Okay, good. Well, you speak English better than I do. No. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I, I brought this. I, I, gee, I found it this morning. I looked before and I couldn't find it. Why don't you know? I looked one more place and there it was. And I, this is where the, uh, where I, where I was at, you know. In, in the up around Sherberg. Yeah. It's way up there here. You see Sherberg on there? Oh my gosh, c'est small. de matériel. Oui. Alors, ils ont construit en face quoi, mm -hmm. de, du Cotentin mm -hmm. un port gigantesque, complètement wow. artificiel, mm -hmm. pour pouvoir à, à alimenter en truc quoi, pour venir. C'est ça, ils ont construit un port extraordinaire. Un pier magnifique, donc ils pouvaient amener tous les équipements. Les équipements, les chips et les supplies dans là. Ok, oui, dans Schoenberg, oui. J'ai resté là pour quelques jours. J'ai eu trois trips là. J'ai revenu trois fois. 1989, 22 ans avant. Où ils ont signé les arbres et les. Remonté. Okay. Armistice ouais, in the uh, uh, second uh, World War II. Uh, là and I was in that uh, town. Then uh, I was stationed in the town where he signed it in the First World War. So it's part of history. Constant. I stayed there for 16 months. Yeah. It was a racetrack. And we had uh, tents all the way around. I was already wounded. Coming back, and they had the wounded uh, guys processing. Troops for the French lines. There, yeah. Jennifer, your father was, uh, he was part of the French underground, right? So the Germans yeah, were, was, uh, tell us about that. He was a parachute in, yeah, in the, in the paratroopers. Um, uh, on the France. German oh, the German Germans. Division. German. Oh, so German how old, division. how old were you when you joined the French resistance? Je suis parti à 16 ans. 16 ans. 16. Parce que ma mère a été arrêtée par la Gestapo. Sa mère a été arrêtée par les Germains. Et il a dû échapper rapidement pour être sûr. Donc, quand ils l'arrêtent, il a échappé. Et ils ont commencé à. Donc, ils sont venus à votre maison. Oui. Et ont arrêté sa mère. Oui. Pendant qu'il était là. Oui. Donc, il a dû échapper. Oui. And, and then where father, did he go? His father was fighting already. So father was, was already in yeah. the service. Yeah. Where did where did you go after the Germans arrested your mother? Oh, <laughs> je, je suis parti en Bretagne. He went to the north of France yeah. in Bretagne. Et, uh, je suis By foot. By oui. foot. Alors volons? Uh, non, non, le chemin de fer. Oh, no, train, train. J'ai tourné. Tout autour de la maison, il y a toujours des, des, des prêts. Mm -hmm. Je suis rentré par derrière. Mm -hmm. Et alors là, on m'attendait quand même. Ils, ils attendaient depuis plusieurs jours. Alors je suis arrivé, euh, ils me fait passer pour, pour un cousin. 
Ah, d'accord. So he arrived and he was, uh, you know, Commandant is a German place, so he turned around the house and said, I have to find someone who, because they were waiting. So finally, behind the, the house, he went in, and one of the guys said, we're waiting for you, come on quick, and you are my cousin. Let's say you're my cousin. So, so he could... In, yeah, no. Why did the Germans arrest his mother? Because she was uh, not... Why did they arrest your mother? Je ne sais pas. Et what did they do with her? ne parlait pas. On ne se disait rien. Moi, on sait de choses dans la résistance. On se protège. On ne And all the family could not communicate. And less you know, better is it for you. So he doesn't know why the mom was arrested. He didn't know where his father was. He knows that he was fighting, but that's it. June the 14th, that's uh, eight days after D-Day. D-Day was June the 6th, and uh, June the 14th, but they had the beaches pretty well cleared. But we took the trip up to, after we got on the beaches, then we went north up to Cherbourg because we wanted to get that town because that was a big seaport where the ships could come in with supplies and tanks and men and everything. So uh, I have a... And, went, and were you injured at the going, on the going beach? up in the Sherberg? Now going up in the Sherberg, not, not on the beach. I was only going up up there. We, we lost a lot of men going up there. They knew we were coming up there. But once they uh, killed a lot of us, and then the, the artillery came, our artillery came in on them, and they they kept going back towards the town. And they ended up with uh, they picked up six thousand prisoners up there then. Really? Yeah. Were right. you doing the 26? Was there any coordination between the French resistance? Uh, yes, they had uh, one fellow. Uh, I'm still in contact with him. Pierre Fabre, he's from Switzerland. Switzerland is in La Haye de Puy, where we have our monument. And, uh, so the French resistance were communicating with. Oh, yeah, they, they, they had uh, this reconnaissance group. They call it. The reconnaissance, that they were attached to our outfit. Or only was 11 months. We went in, in June, it was over next May. In France. Here they are in Afghanistan. Ten years. Can't believe this. And why do you think they're there ten years? I was never in favor right at the beginning, never to go over there. What the hell are we going to go over there for? What are we going to go over there for? Well, kill these people and Combat. These people never saw combat. They don't know what combat is. Just people getting their head knocked off the head, the arms, legs. Combat was very rough. <laughs> We lost uh, parents, brother, friends. You know, when you train with guys for two solid years, 24 months, go into combat, they're gone in a couple of days. After two years of training, they're back like that. That's hard to take. I still remember all the guys in my platoon. I still remember where they lived. Which city, which state. I kept in contact with some of them. I kept in contact with the ones that died. I knew where they lived though. How many guys did you lose? Well, we had about 190 going in. We ended up with about 50 he left. And do you ever wonder to yourself how you survived and why you were you're here to talk about it? And that shrapnel yes, has no name on it. Yes, <laughs> you just. Uh, I think it's a matter of luck, actually. Yeah, it's a matter of luck.